Load brakes, which known as LBS, plays a crucial role in electrical power distribution systems, enabling the safe disconnection and reconnection of power lines. It serves as a key component in various applications, including distribution substations, ring main units, and overhead or underground distribution networks. This video provides an in-depth understanding of load brake switches, exploring their function, types, components, working principle, and applications. Additionally, it examines the advantages and disadvantages of using load brake switches, maintenance, and safety considerations, and offers insights into future trends and developments in this technology. What is load brake switch? So, you know how in the power distribution world, there are switches that turn things on and off? Well, a load brake switch, LBS, is just like that, but with a fancy name. It's basically a switch that can safely interrupt the flow of electrical current when you need to disconnect or isolate a certain part of the power distribution network. What is the importance of load brake switch in power distribution? Now, you might be wondering, why do we even need a special switch for this? Can't we just use a regular light switch from the hardware store? Well, my friend, the power distribution network is a whole different ballgame. It deals with high voltage and heavy loads, and we need a switch that can handle all that power without causing any damage or endangering anyone's safety. That's where the load brake switch comes in. It's designed to handle the unique challenges of power distribution and ensure a safe and reliable operation. Understanding Function and Purpose of Load Brake Switches Load brake switches work based on the principle of braking and making electrical connections. When in the closed position, the contacts of the load brake switch allow current to flow through the switch and supply power to the connected load. In the open position, the contacts separate, interrupting the current flow and isolating the load from the power source. Here are main functions of load brake switch. 1. Load brake switch for braking and making capacities. In simple terms, the main function of a load brake switch is to interrupt the electrical current flow. Think of it as the off button for a particular section of the power distribution network. It can handle both the braking and making of the electrical circuit, which means it can safely disconnect and reconnect the power supply when needed. 2. Load brake switch for load disconnecting operation. Another important purpose of a load brake switch is to disconnect loads from the power supply without causing any electrical disturbances. Imagine you need to work on a section of the power network or replace some equipment. You want to be able to disconnect that specific part without affecting the rest of the system. Well, that's exactly what a load brake switch allows you to do. It isolates the load from the power source, so you can perform your maintenance or repairs without causing a blackout in the whole neighborhood. 3. Load Brake Switch for Fault Current Interruption Now, accidents happen, even in the world of power distribution. Sometimes, there can be a sudden surge in current flow due to a fault or a short circuit. It's like a power-hungry monster running wild in the network. But fear not, because a load brake switch is there to save the day. It has the ability to interrupt these fault currents and prevent any further damage. It's like a superhero with the power to stop the villain dead in its tracks. Now we know about types of load brake switches. There are several types of load brake switches available, each designed for specific applications and operating conditions. Here are some common types of load brake switches. Air brake switch. Air brake switches are the most basic type of load brake switches. They use air as the arc quenching medium and are typically used for low voltage applications. Air brake switches are manually operated and are often found in distribution networks for residential and commercial buildings. Oil Immersed Load Brake Switch These switches are filled with insulating oil, which serves as the arc quenching medium. Oil Immersed Load Brake Switches are commonly used in medium voltage applications and provide better arc interruption capabilities compared to air brake switches. They are often found in distribution substations and industrial installations. Vacuum load brake switch. Vacuum load brake switches utilize vacuum as the arc quenching medium. They offer excellent arc interruption performance and are suitable for medium to high voltage applications. Vacuum load brake switches are compact, reliable, and require minimal maintenance. They are commonly used in distribution networks, 
ring main units, and transformer substations. SF6 Load Brake Switch SF6, Sulfur Hexafluoride Load brake switches use SF6 gas as the arc quenching and insulating medium. These switches are highly reliable and provide excellent arc interruption capabilities. SF6 load brake switches are commonly used in high-voltage applications, such as transmission substations and power generation plants. Solid dielectric load brake switch Solid dielectric load brake switches use solid materials, such as epoxy resin or silicone rubber, as the insulation and arc quenching medium. They are environmentally friendly and offer compact design options. Solid dielectric load brake switches are often used in underground distribution systems and compact substations. Hybrid load brake switch. Hybrid load brake switches combine different arc interruption technologies, such as vacuum and solid dielectric, to provide enhanced performance and flexibility. These switches are suitable for various voltage levels and can be used in different applications, including distribution networks and compact substations. Understanding Components and Working Principle of Load Brake Switches A load brake switch is an electrical device used to control the flow of current in a power system. It is primarily designed to provide a safe and reliable method for isolating and disconnecting loads or sections of a power distribution network. Load brake switches are commonly used in substations, industrial plants, and commercial buildings. 1. Main Components of Load Brake Switches So, what makes a load brake switch tick? Well, the main components are the switch itself, obviously, the operating mechanism, and the arc quenching system. These components work together to ensure a safe and reliable operation of the switch. 2. Operational Mechanism the operational mechanism of a load brake switch can vary depending on the type. It can be manual or motor-driven, depending on the application. Imagine how cool it would be if you could control the power distribution network like a DJ scratching records. Well, maybe not exactly like that, but you get the idea. 3. Arc Quenching Methods When it comes to interrupting the current flow, load brake switches need to deal with something called electrical arcs. These arcs are like fiery dragons that can damage the switch and cause all sorts of trouble. But fear not, because load brake switches have their own tricks up their sleeves to quench those arcs. They can use various methods like using air, vacuum, or special gas, like SF6, to quickly extinguish the arc and keep everything under control. It's like magic, but with science. Well, there you have it, folks. Load brake switches may sound complicated but they are an essential part of power distribution, keeping the lights on and the power flowing, all while ensuring your safety. So, the next time you flick the switch in your home, remember the hard work that goes on behind the scenes to make it happen. Applications of Load Brake Switches and Power Distribution Load Brake Switches, LBS, play a crucial role in ensuring the efficient and safe distribution of electrical power. They find application in various areas of power distribution, including distribution substations, ring main units, overhead distribution lines, and underground distribution networks. 1. Distribution Substations In distribution substations, load brake switches are used to connect and disconnect power lines from transformers. This allows for easy isolation of faulty equipment, maintenance work, or any other situation where power needs to be interrupted. 2. Ring Main Units Load brake switches are essential components of ring main units, which are used in urban power distribution systems. They enable the flexible reconfiguration of electrical feeders, allowing power to be redirected in case of faults or repairs. 3. Overhead Distribution Lines Load brake switches are commonly installed on overhead distribution lines, particularly in rural areas. They provide the ability to manually open and close circuits, making it easier to perform inspections, repairs, or isolate sections of the network for maintenance purposes. 4. Underground Distribution Networks In underground distribution networks, load brake switches are employed to control and manage power distribution in densely populated areas or locations with limited space for overhead lines. They facilitate the selective disconnection of underground cables and ensure the safe operation of the network.
In summary, a load brake switch, LBS, is an electrical device used in power distribution systems to safely interrupt the flow of electrical current and disconnect or isolate specific sections of the network. It is designed to handle high voltage and heavy loads while ensuring the safety of personnel and preventing damage to equipment. Load brake switches have multiple functions, including braking and making electrical connections, disconnecting loads without causing disturbances, and interrupting fault currents.